everyone welcome to our channel big leap think different i am sneha and today we are going to find out that can matter change its state okay but before it if you have not subscribed to our channel please do it and without any further ado let's get straight into the video so by now we know that matter exists in three states even though there are more states possible but while today we are going to inquire that can matter change its state which means that can matter change from solid to liquid liquid to gas or vice versa all of them now in order to learn this we are going to perform an activity now you have to take some ice what is called normal ice okay take it in a beaker right and take a thermometer dip it now what you are going to observe is that the temperature is going to be around 0 degrees or minus uh in somewhat in minus right now i want you to take a bunsen burner and start heating it now if you ask me the question that why are we heating it well obviously that's because one of the phenomena to change the temperature is heating and that's what we are going to do because change in temperature is one of the ways to change in matter or change the state of matter right okay so what you will observe you will observe that the temperature in the thermometer is continuously increasing and at a point it stops and what happens at that point at that point the ice begins to convert in water now what you will observe at this time is that when the ice is converting into water the temperature is not rising but after some time if you will observe the thermometer you will find out that the calm water begins bubbling again and that thermometer's temperature which was constant is rising again now heat that water more which is the bubbling of boiling water at certain point again the temperature will stop and what will happen at that particular point at that particular point the water is going to convert into what's called water vapor now what i want you to observe is that while doing this activity you observe that the temperature in the thermometer has stopped two times right and what were those points when the ice converted into water and when the water converted into water vapor now what is temperature increase i may i ask and also i would like to ask you a question what happens when temperature increases you see that the motion of the particles increases as well which means that increase in temperature is related to increase in kinetic energy or in other words it is the increase in kinetic energy so when the temperature increases the kinetic energy of the particle increases as well now this kinetic energy when it is enough of it which is at 273 degree kelvin or at 0 degree celsius what we normally call it this kinetic energy is enough that it breaks the ice which is a solid and converts into a liquid right now if you observed the same thing happens when the water converts into water vapor at that point which is the point 100 degree celsius or 373 degree kelvin the kinetic energy is so high that the water breaks and what it converts into it converts into water vapor and those two points those two points have a very important name one of them is called the latent heat of fusion and another is called the latent heat of vaporization at these two particular points which is the latent heat of fusion and latent heat of vaporization the kinetic energy is getting used to convert one 
state into other state but at except for uh, these two points that kinetic energy is used to increase the temperature that you can clearly see in the thermometer now i told you that these two points have a name latent heat of fusion and latent heat of vaporization what is the word latent the word latent means hidden and why are we using the term hidden that's because the kinetic energy and the heat at that particular time is hidden right so latent heat of fusion is defined as the energy which is used to convert solid state into liquid state which is at a particular temperature which is called the melting point same for latent heat of vaporization when the kinetic energy is getting used to convert the solid state into gaseous state at a particular temperature and under a constant pressure it is called latent heat of vaporization okay now another important question arises that is it important always to convert it somewhat like solid then liquid and then gas can't it be just like solid to gas well the answer is in this example well if i ask you all if you have might seen the air fresheners commonly um let me take the example of odonin right what you use in your bathrooms toilet and everywhere what happens is there is something solid in some cute little packets and what happens after some time is that vanishes and where did it go yeah it just evaporated and went so that is what gives you fragrance right what happens in this case is that solid is converting directly into gases there is no liquid state in between so this process of change of solid to gas is called sublimation now if you don't haven't observed the odonil or air fresheners what you can do is go into your fridges and collect some ice i'm not talking about the ice that you actually freeze i'm talking about something that freezes itself and what is that ice called it's actually the dry ice or solid carbon dioxide yes that is solid carbon dioxide and if you take that dry ice and leave it at room temperature what happens is the solid converts into gaseous state directly without converting into liquid and this is also the example of the process of sublimation now why i told you the example of dry ice or solid carbon dioxide in this world of so many examples that's because when always in the stages performance in the movies when they want to give some heavenly look they use the phenomena of solid carbon dioxide to create that fake white smoke and that gas everywhere you know what i'm talking about yes you know now this all was a example of change in temperature and we were just playing with temperature now the another question that arises is that there is something other than temperature that we can play with to change the state of matter yes there is and that is pressure now i told you in the couple of seconds before that solid converts to liquid to gas at particular temperatures and the temperatures was 0 degree celsius for the conversion of solid into liquid that is ice into water especially i am taking talking about water here and then when water converts into water vapor that particular temperature is 100 degree celsius but what if i tell you that this temperature is not fixed oh my god then if it's not fixed how do we know that what is a fixed temperature when a substance is changed to some other form now if you don't believe me think about it how does this 
gaseous carbon dioxide around us converts into solid carbon dioxide. Think about it. Well, now, what happens actually is that you all know that gases are compressible, right? So, when we increase the pressure and we compress these gases, they first convert into what's called liquid. An example of this is LPG, liquefied petroleum gas. And what is it? The gas is compressed so much that it converts into liquid state. And when we compress this liquid state even more, it converts into solid, which is what is dry ice. Now, to summarize in a nutshell, what we understood till now is that two important factors affecting the change of states of matter are temperature and pressure.